Schools will be closed now till at least May the 4th. And earlier this week, uh, e-learning was to begin across the province. Uh, we have the Director of Education for the Limestone District School Board on the line with us this morning. Her name is Deborah Ranch. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning. Uh, we wanted to get you on to get a little uh, sense of what the Limestone District School Board's contingency plan is. Right. So uh, I want to start by saying these are certainly challenging times. They're unprecedented. Um, but we are in a situation now where the government expects every student will continue to learn while in-school classes are suspended. But we're unique in Limestone. We have uh, rural, urban areas. We have a large district. So we're calling it emergency remote learning. It's certainly not a continuity of learning uh, program. And uh, we're working really closely with our families to uh, make sure that we have a program that works for them. Uh, we're conducting needs assessments for each uh, family, each student to ascertain their access to technology. And we'll develop a personalized plan for each student based on that information. But getting back to some sort of learning, whatever that looks like for each family, is really important because some a relaxed routine getting our minds out of this crisis is actually good for kids uh, are the parents expected to educate the kids based on what the teachers recommend is that kind of how it works we know that parents want to help but i really want to emphasize that we're not expecting parents to be teachers right now uh, learning is always a priority for our students but we recognize as I said, this is a stressful time for parents and for children, and their personal and mental well-being remains our top priority. So the best thing that parents can do, or family members or guardians, best thing you can do is maintain communication with your children, be patient and understanding, and provide your children with a reassurance and a calm during this time when we can prepare their minds and their bodies to engage in learning when it's right for them. And do you recommend a, a certain amount of time per day or per week that uh, parents should try to steer their kids off a tablet and more on schoolwork? So the, the ministry has actually produced guidelines for the number of hours for each uh, grade level. So for example, in grades K to kindergarten to grade three, there would be about five hours of work per student per week on literacy and math up to grade nine and 12 in secondary where it would be three hours of work per course per week. We're speaking with uh, Deborah Rance, the Director of Education for the Limestone District School Board. Tell us about how the school board is uh, teaming up with the food sharing project. Our first priority has been making sure that our students' basic needs are met. So that's food, security, health care. So in anticipation at that time for the two-week closure, we'd be on right away to work with community partners like the food sharing project. Uh, to distribute food to families in need. We were able to identify the families in our communities that need those services. Um, and we've also worked to ensure that students who require nursing care at home are being looked after. And our wellness team has gathered and provided resources on supporting student and families' mental health. So we also reached out to our local hospitals to see how we could help. And we've provided them with cleaning supplies and sanitizers and gathering of protective equipment so that we can share. Uh, well, we appreciate you uh, spending some time with us. Uh, it's Deborah Rance. She is the Director of Education for the Limestone District School Board. Uh, as I mentioned, schools now are closed till at least May the 4th. Uh, and uh, so we'll take it sort of uh, day by day, but appreciate uh, your tips and, and what you guys are doing uh, for our community. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Read and win in the morning.